Hello, Jarvis. I'm home. Welcome back, sir. Hope your trip was fruitful. Booty Star Channel. Booty Star Channel. Hey, and welcome back to Hootie Style Channel. Happy to have you guys back. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I highly recommend you do that because we had this awesome montage video of the build that you should watch. But in this episode, we are going to showcase YouTube's first 4K OLED smart mirror. And I think you really will like it. And so without further ado, let's go to the mirror. Just. I forgot my tea. I'll be right back. Okay, now to the exciting part that I promised. And as you can see, this thing is massive. It's almost two meters high and one meter wide. I think that is what differs from most of these smart mirrors that I've seen people build. This is absolutely massive. And when our guests arrive, there's always something to talk about because you just can't stop staring at this thing. I mean, me even, after several months of having this thing around, it's just so cool. It's so futuristic. Jarvis, say hi to YouTube. Hello YouTube, welcome to Hootie Style Channel. Oh, you hear that there's a female voice talking to us. And this is a problem that appeared the last two, three weeks, of course, since we are trying to showcase this. And if you remember in the last episode, I said there are problems when you're dealing with third party. This is the type of problems that you deal with with third party. This is out of my control. I've checked every setting I could possibly check. I even reset a lot of the things that I did just to see if the problem was on my end. But the thing is, it's not. This is a Google bug. And as long as they don't fix this, we're going to have a dual voice. I'm not going to say his name because he's going to activate, but dual voice assistant. So let's try that again and see if he answers with his male voice this time. Jarvis, say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Hootie Style Channel. Tough luck, guys. <laughs> Jarvis, you forgot to introduce yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I am Jarvis, based on Google Assistant, running on Project Elizabeth. <laughs> there, there he is. So, this is Project Elizabeth, and why it's called Project Elizabeth, we'll talk about that in another episode, okay? So, let me just showcase this thing to you, and let me just say, it's very difficult to film what's on a mirror, as opposed to what the mirror reflects. I just realized that. So I hope you guys get to see what's going on here. And we're gonna try to, I don't know, cut in between some shots to show you what's going on, but it's very difficult. So what can you do with this that you can't do with your mobile phone in a day and age like this? Well, probably not much, but it's a totally different representation. You have some information at a glance, and it's much more practical than, than picking up your phone when you're around the home. Why I chose a voice assistant as opposed to touch and 3D gestures, etc. We'll get into that in another episode, but um, to put it short, you don't want to smudge your beautiful mirror. And that's why we let go of that idea. And 3D gestures are just too limited but the voice you can do a lot with. Okay, so there are different types of communication with this device. We have one type of interaction, that's the voice. So we ask for stuff and then it communicates back in two different ways, either through the visual way or by responding. So the first thing we have here is, is a home view setting that we decided was the best for us. For example, to the right here, we have the forecast every other hour for five days. And that's perfect when you're leaving the, the house. I mean, you could watch your phone and see 
what's going to happen in the next few hours. But I mean, it's just there at a glance, you know. Then we have in Gothenburg, Sweden, where we are located, we have trams. And trams are a perfect way to get around the city. And just outside our home is a tram stop. Now, this is a perfect way for us to see when the next tram is leaving because this is a very rainy and windy city. And you don't want to stand out there for no good reason. If you got 10 minutes, that's 10 minutes in the dry. All right, and then we have, a, we have the time and we have some headlines of the latest news and whatever's playing on Spotify. That one's, I don't know, I guess if you're running a Spotify radio, that's cool to see. We can change this view by talking to the mirror. For example, I can say, Jarvis, show me the train departures. And, of course, just a second. There we go. The train departures from Gothenburg Central Station. Similar way you can check for flight departures or arrivals. If you're picking someone up or you're leaving, if there are some delays, etc. Perfect, right? So, furthermore, you could, for example, uh, I don't know, if you're into stocks, you can always do stuff like that. Jarvis, switch to financial view. Of course, give me a second. There you go. We have some crypto here. We have some uh, stock prices up there. It's a ticker. You can modify this in any way you pretty much want. Or for example, if your guests are arriving and they need the Wi-Fi. Jarvis, our guests have arrived. Welcome to our home. Please help yourself to our fast Wi-Fi and do enjoy your stay. And he switches, switches to a QR code with an instantaneous connection to our guest Wi-Fi. I mean, these things are so practical. And so after a few minutes that it will switch automatically back to the home view. So you don't have to worry about that. Your guests are, you know, probably done with hooking up to the Wi-Fi and you're leaving to the living room and you don't want to think about that no more. So it will automatically go back. Th these are just a few examples of the visual communication that the mirror has with us. Of course, like any assistant, you can get some uh, auditory responses. Um, you know, the normal stuff like what's the time and, you know, Jarvis, when does McDonald's close? McDonald's at Kung Sports of Enion 32 does not close. It is open 24 hours a day. Well, lucky for anyone who wants McDonald's. Now, beside that, there are plenty of more stuff. For example, my work calendar. I don't want to show it here, but <laughs> my work calendar, for example. Daily commutes. Uh, how's the traffic to work? Plenty of information that can be had at a glance in a few seconds. But beside that, you can just ask Jarvis, show the shopping list. Let me know if you want to add anything else. And there you go, you have the shopping list and this shopping list will be available on my phone, on my wife's phone, and we can get notified whenever something new is added. If I'm coming home from work or my wife is coming home from work, she can pick up whatever it is that we need. She ticks it off and I will get a notification that she bought it or she will get a notification that I bought it, etc. And it will be removed from the list so that was pretty cool right now imagine you coming home from work you're tired you open up the door and as you could see in the intro or before the awesome intro that i made thank you very much you just say hey man i'm home and you saw the lights went on even the bathroom lights went on so you don't have to touch anything for washing your hands so you're tired you decide to take a bath you light up a couple of candles and then you get into the bath and you realize, ah, oh, I forgot to dim the lights and I really want that cozy feel. Jarvis, I forgot to make it cozy. I'm on it. And he will dim the lights for you. Bam. That is worth gold. Still not impressed? All right. So you get out of the bath, you put on some cozy clothes, you sit down in the sofa. Whew. 
Jarvis, it's movie time. And you could just chill, put your legs up and enjoy. And then you decide, hey, you know what? I'm hungry. Now you're going to the kitchen. Everything is dimmed down. Yes. Jarvis, add black pepper to the shopping list. Let me know if you want to add anything else. onions on your hands and you realize darn it I did not turn on the lights Jarvis it's cooking time okay performing action and so I hope you liked the showcase there is a bunch of possibilities here I'm still not done with all the programming and the things that I want this thing to help us out with but the possibilities are almost endless. And if you want to build one of these things, just keep hanging out here because I'm going to show you how. And you don't have to do it this massive. You can build a small one because, you know, the important thing is what you do with it. That was a bad joke. But it was unintentional. I hope you liked today's episode. If you did, press like and subscribe. And if you hated it, does it really hurt to press like and subscribe anyway? Come on. If you have any questions, any comments, write it in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer your questions. Although I'm a very busy man, I will do my best. So there's a lot more this thing can do and the possibilities for further development are almost endless. This is an awesome journey and I'm so happy I can share this with you guys. Building this thing with an OLED screen is borderline crazy i'm not regretting it not at all but it's borderline crazy i know uh, but with the zero light bleed and the awesome resolution the illusion is pretty much perfect and this thing has become a central hub in our home now in the next couple of episodes we will be talking about the software and the hardware and i think it can be really helpful if you're looking to build something like this for yourself this is hoodie hoodie style channel and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.